and welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver 1. surface love this area all the way down to the Dobbin Wood area due to the wind being funneled down the lake from this point. I'll tell you more about this wind and its effects on the water down below when we launch the Dobbin Wood video which is next in this timeline. Anglers in kayaks take advantage of this area and sometimes from the shore here in the hope of a big fish passing by and what is a very long stretch of lake from here onwards towards Len Ridden in the south. My dive instructor, Gordon Burton of Penrith Divers, showed me this site a long, long time ago, as in dived it. Its name is really taken from the point of land you see on your left, past this building. The bay you are entering into is called Gao Baro Bay. For divers, this dive is a little different only in that its depth is shallow at 10 meters with a nice very gradual shelf taking you to a little over 22 meters in the mid channel area. So a little more ideal for if trainees are doing open water assessments though Viz is just 2 meters in summer and around 5 meters in winter. Fin to the right, which is the southwest, and you may have a forage around a boathouse there, just past the line of trees which I've outlined. The large mountain you see opposite is called Hallen Fell and to the right where that craggy point is that's called Kalepot Crag which is outlined with the yellow attractors a must do for the tombstoners. To the left you're actually looking into Howtown Pier so yes ferries will be cruising around this area usually in the central channel. When in the lakes always have your binoculars ready because over on that fell deer and other wild animals make an appearance on the crests of the mountains. You might also see another animal up there, it's called a rambler. <laughs> yeah, you'll often see walkers uh, on the opposite side. Hi guys, we're just at uh, Galbaro Bay here. Um, there's, been, there's been heavy rain for the last day or two and I can't get down to film. It's that bad. Uh, I brought my EMF meter uh, just to see if there's any mobile phone transmissions etc here and absolutely dead. Zero signal. That car was transmitting, that's what you heard there. I've actually got the sound on so you can hear the sound. but silent so it's EMF free apart from vehicles passing by where the mobile phones are active what that means for everyone in the Lake District in general is that mobile phones are out of action so if there's an emergency you're going to have to find a landline
go northeast, which is to your left, just around Skelly Neb, and you have jetties. So good ratching grounds. If, fo if wind force is high, a current can often be encountered along this area, sufficient to enjoy a drift dive. 